created by men. So because we are the ones that build them, it was in nature. So if we have any disaster based on the dam related problem, problem. Uh, so it was the created. One. The problem was created by us, yes. and so the consequences also usually suffered. Yes, by unfortunately, us. the poor mm. people suffer. The exactly. Yeah. So quite, in this quite, kind quite of in, in this yeah. part of the world, yeah. Uh, we'll go on this short break. We have this package on environment that we would like to to play, and uh, when we come back after this particular story, we'll continue our topic and we'll go straight into preferring solutions on how to curb the menace of flooding in Nigeria. We'll be right back. According to the World Bank, Nigeria ranks among the top 10 most climate vulnerable countries in the world with Lagos also ranking the 10th most vulnerable city in the world since 2014. It is against this background that the German missions and the delegation of German industry and commerce in Nigeria organized the meeting edition of the Dialogue on Waste Management in Nigeria. The chief host of the event and German Deputy Consul General Nigerian Office, Alexander Eyre, explained the need to diversify from commerce into other related sectors as they are all interwoven. Nigeria, we have um, an understanding on an urbanization uh, partnership. And so I was wondering what could we do, um, yes, in the area of urbanization that would make sense and uh, encompass a few important topics. We are already since 2014 organizing a seminar series on renewable energy together with the delegation of German industry and commerce. And um, usually we do three seminars each year, one in Lagos, one in Abuja. And so I thought, why not complement the seminar series with a new one focusing on waste management? And so why waste management? Obviously, we've seen it. It's, it's a topic uh, in Nigeria. And it's also one that is related to climate um, climate issues, climate protection, and uh, the Federal Foreign Office, uh, we have um, the so-called Climate Project Fund, and so we were able to secure funds from this, uh, from this fund in order to carry out uh, this very seminar today. And because you asked about what we plan for the future, we would also like to have a second seminar uh, this year, um, also uh, dealing with uh, waste management. We are not really set yet if it will be e-waste or uh, lead batteries, but this would be a more um, specific topic. Today it was broader. We already work quite some time now uh, in the area of um, academic exchange and uh, we really uh, focus on allowing students to, to go to Germany to, to study uh, with our visa section. We have lecturates, uh, we, we have one for example now at the Ibadan University and uh, there it's, um, the focus is on yeah, um, getting people to, to uh, learn German. Uh, yeah, and we, we are working in that direction so that uh, we will, how do you say, strengthen uh, our ties and the exchange, yeah. Speaking on climate change and waste management in Nigeria, Mrs. Maria Yetano Roche from the Wuppertal Institute raised concerns about the system of waste incineration in Nigeria, which not only affects the environment but contaminates the air we breathe and is a major cause of most health challenges. About uh, sorting at source and behavior, um, I think it cuts across the board, and I'm sorry I could not cover, but awareness raising has to really uh, supplement any kind of policy intervention in waste. And of course, it will not just happen because of awareness, there has to be incentives. So, um, I mean, uh, it's not just about you getting an economic incentive from, um, from, from sorting out your waste, but simple things like that your sorting facility where you that your bins to, to put your sorted waste are close to your house or that they are collected door to door. Those are incentives for the, for the 
for the citizen. And, um, and of course, uh, for sorting out waste, it's very important that design of products already integrates the possibility of, the, of the different materials being sorted. So this refers to at, at the stage of design. And awareness would have to go into all sorts of dimensions, also in the agricultural um, waste perspective. If you don't uh, make the possibilities clear and the business case um, and even the technology um, a little bit more uh, approachable, then nothing moves. Plastic pollution is a huge problem that we're struggling with in, in Nigeria and the world today. Over 8 million tons of plastics make their way into the ocean annually. And we see it clogging our drains and creating issues for us in Lagos. Um, our company is focused on trying to rid plastic pollution. Um, and we're trying to do that by empowering communities to understand the value of the waste that they generate, uh, primarily plastics and know that there's an inherent value in the, in the plastics that they can use to sell to companies like us and we actually then go on and sell to large recycling companies to generate revenue. So we see it as an opportunity to generate wealth but at the same time clean up the environment. Other speakers also lent their voices to call on government at all levels to look into the issue of proper waste disposal, waste recycling and replacement of the existing dump sites with the needed infrastructural requirement for the sector.